my destiny to one day be a MILF. <laughs> and that is what I want. I want a kitchen island. That's... <laughs> And for my son's friends to imagine me on it. You know, I don't see what's like, my life is a bit like frazzled at the moment because I've recently gone through like a huge breakup, um, which has just been like so difficult for him. And um, <laughs> it's like one of those weird situations, right? Where I feel like we'd been together for a really long time and then we weren't. And I didn't really know who I was when I was single again. So I've been on this really long path of self-discovery and I've been learning loads of things about myself. Um, one of the things I learned recently about myself is that I'm actually colorblind. Nobody cares. Um, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll remember it though. And um, yeah, I'm colorblind. I was kind of amazed like, not to know that, but um, the kind of colorblind I am is that in certain lights, I can't see uh, red flags. <laughs> um, so that's just like me. That's my kind of situation. Or I can see them, but I'm like, what are you talking about? Do you know what I mean? Like, that's my, that's my vibe. Um, I think for me, the issue is like a red flag on a boy who's fit <laughs> it's kind of like a one star hygiene rating <laughs> like outside a delicious kebab shop you know <laughs> it's the same thing like in both cases I know like I know it's a terrible idea to put it inside me like I know that you know what I mean I'm aware but if I've had a bottle of wine it's too late you know what I mean that's kind of the situation that I'm in I've been, I've been dating a lot. I find it's like really difficult when you first get out of a long time relationship and you start dating again because you're kind of not used to the scene and there are lots of things that you forget how to do like keeping up appearances and like wearing nice underwear and upkeeping an entirely different personality. Um, <laughs> it's difficult. Uh, and, and I find that like, I never really had to do that in my previous relationship because you know it was very long term and very loving. And so I always knew that like, regardless of like what underwear I was wearing, we were not gonna have sex anyway. So it, sort of, it was a lot easier then. And now I've like got a lot of opinions on dating and stuff. Cause I've, I've done a lot of like dating late at night and I'm kind of quite concerned these days for like women's safety. Like I think for example, in, in the US uh, for just the safety of people, it should be a lot more difficult to purchase a gun. Like I think that's pretty straightforward. Um, I also similarly think though in the UK that it needs to be a lot more difficult for men in particular to be able to purchase acoustic guitars. <laughs> just for my safety, you know? because it can just, they can so easily get into the wrong hands. Um, and the thing is like when it is the eighth cover of Oasis or like God forbid the Arctic Monkeys, um, <laughs> you do start kind of fantasizing that you would rather it was a gun. Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> that's kind of, it's kind of how I feel. Um, I, uh, I think that men need to stop uh, trying to give like creative compliments to the women that they're dating. Uh, because recently uh, I was on a date with a guy and he told me that he really loved my body because it was so sturdy. <laughs> um, which to him he probably thought, oh, that's just like a comment about her body that I'm saying that I like, like what's wrong with that? But to me it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I hope the car I throw myself in front of is a bigger tank than I am. <laughs> you know, that's kind of what I'm thinking in that moment. Like it really, you know, it did like hurt my feelings because I do, you know, I try and eat clean and uh, look after myself and I just lied and, um, <laughs> but did it sound like, I feel like that's the kind of thing that people say. Um, I'm kind of getting to an age now where I kind of think that I, I have to decide what my life goal is. And to be honest, I think I've always sort of known what my destiny is, but I've always been too embarrassed just to come out and say it because it's not something that I should want. Um, but I feel very strongly about it. Um, I am going to tell you guys tonight, I really believe that personally, like I was born and put on this planet because it's my destiny to one day be a MILF. <laughs> And that is what I want. I want a kitchen island. That's... <laughs> and for my son's friends to imagine me on it, you know? I don't see what's, <laughs> like, what's so wrong with that, you know? I don't... Do you ever wonder, like, I kind of think Victorian women had it all, you know? <laughs> 
like just bonnets and fun. Like that's, they just had no work. And then I think what happened was that like around the turn of the century, all of these um, activists, sorry, I mean mouthy uh, <laughs> came along and you know those posters that are like, we can do it, like put us in the factories. We can, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why did they do that? Because now like 2000 years later, whenever the it was, <laughs> Like, I have to be in a Microsoft Teams meeting. Are you joking? <laughs> some things are progress and some things are just bullying. Um, and that's how I feel. That's been my set, everybody. You've been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for having me. My name's Bella Hall. Have a lovely evening. Yeah.